All right, guys, welcome back to my Manchester United career on FIFA 17. And in today's episode, we're going to be wrapping up this preseason tournament, the Asian Elite Cup in the final against Bayern Munich. We're there thanks to that massive 4-1 win against the Spanish Galacticos, Real Madrid. We absolutely blew them out of the water in that game. I really was expecting a bigger and more solid challenge from Real Madrid, but... I don't know, they just didn't turn up. They even had Cristiano Ronaldo start in that game and we thrashed them. We absolutely annihilated them. We embarrassed them in pre-season. I know it's only pre-season and I'm sure if it was the, um, the semi-final in the Champions League, they would have put up more of a challenge. But with it only being pre-season, it's kind of acceptable, I suppose. But we still beat them 4-1 at the end of the day and we are in the final against Bayern Munich. Now, I know I haven't made any signings whatsoever, but don't worry, they will happen. Your suggestions, as always, have been amazing over the last couple of episodes, and I've been taking them in, taking notes, seeing who would probably best fit in this United side. What I plan to do in the next day or two when I actually get FIFA 17 in my hands, when I'm not even limited to how much time I've got on the game, I will be making a signing or two, all depends how uh, it all goes, and then after that we'll be starting our new Premier League campaign. I can't wait to get going, hope you guys can't either, and that was a good training session by the way, Tanzebe going up to 68. Heading in to the Asian Elite Cup final against Bayern Munich, I've gone ahead in the press conference and heaped praise on young Marcus Rashford. I really can't stress enough how excited I am to get this season underway to see what Marcus Rashford can come up with. And as I've mentioned in the comments on previous episodes, I aim to have Marcus Rashford as my first choice striker. But then again, it all depends on when Ibrahimovic decides to hang up his boots. That could be this season or next. Well, as the sun sets, we are set to take on one of Europe's finest in Bayern Munich. Can't wait for this. The presentation looks amazing. And it's only the Asian Elite Cup final. Who would have thought? I tell you what, I really hope in the next couple of days when FIFA is fully out, I hope they've sorted the Premier League graphics out with a, maybe a day one patch. I hope so. Good to see that Mats Hummels has actually been given a new face scan. No more long hair for him. He has cut it short. And he's looking focused. Look at those those eyes, man. He looks dead inside. Maybe he's not even ready for this game. Maybe he's not even ready for the season ahead yet. Maybe he wanted a bit more time with his vacation. But anyway, there is my lineup. Bastian Schweinsteiger comes in against his former side. Rashford starts after I heap the praise on him. I want to see a good performance from him. Maybe get him on the score sheet. Martial starts along with Ibrahimovic. Look at the look at that camera angle. That is something you would see in real life on TV with that amazing piece of silverware just in front of the manager himself. Look at Bayern's team though, Neuer starts in goal, Philip Lahm as captain, Lewandowski, Ribery, Robben, there's no holding back from Carlo Ancelotti with this team selection. Don't think I've mentioned yet, but I am playing this game on Legendary, which is a first. Here we go with Rashford, full of pace. He's not the best crosser though just yet, but that's not too bad. It's going to come out to Mkhitaryan. Ah, oh, he's lost it. Well, we've had a really good start here. I'm really impressed with how I'm doing against Legendary Valencia. Shaw, what is Shaw doing so central? Valencia, tight angle and all. Looking to beat Noyo is never really going to happen, but we've got a corner. Lam. Ooh. Really overshot that sliding challenge. Oh, no, no, no. Robben. Well done, Blind. Sticking his foot out, winning the ball back, and now that releases Anthony Martial. Here we go. Down the left side. Oh, through for Ibra. He's onside as well. Look at Martial. Oh, it's 1-0. What a finish from Anthony Martial. What link-up play between him and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Absolutely perfect from Manchester United. I just loved the movement there from Martial. Just created space for himself. Pulled away from his marking. You can see to the left of your screen. Boom, there he is. And finished it. Gonna take that quick. Katarian. Oh. Finish that mark. Oh, what the hell? He should be hitting that with his foot, not his head. It's Valencia again. Rashford getting himself into the box. Can we... That's him for Rashford. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, she's just wide. No, rooted to the spot. If that was on target, I reckon that would have floated into the top corner, but she just goes wide. Oh, Schneidlin, unfortunate there. He did get body in the way, but the ball just bounced over him. Oh, come on, we need to <laughs> need to be getting this off Tiago here. And just like that, Bayern Munich are in our box and causing De Gea problems. Could have been 1-1. Bayern have really turned up the pressure in the second half. De Gea with the punch away. It's going to fall to Lewandowski. I'm just failing massively. We're defending. That's going to be a simple save for De Gea. Woo. You can Bayern again. This is Koeman. Good young startlet. Koeman, what's he doing? That's Vidal. Lewandowski back to Vidal. He's gone for goal. And he's beaten. David De Gea at such range. You wouldn't expect it. But that is what Vidal is capable of. No messing around. Absolutely slotted that pass, De Gea. He, should he be saving that, De Gea? He should be. I mean, he's right there. Well, that's 90 minutes then. Is this going into extra time or does it go straight to penalties? I haven't heard the commentator say anything, but there we go. That is the final score. I think I did pretty well, to be honest, against Legendary. And it looks like it's... Is it going into extra time? I think... I think it might be going into penalties, actually. This is going to be fun. Really at first then to take United, who came on to replace Bastian Schweinsteiger. I kind of like the penalties in the demo. The, uh, the new way that we're doing that. So we're going to go to the left here. It's 1-0. Neuer rooted to the spot. A good start. And it's Vidal who got the equaliser that has put Bayern Munich in this penalty shootout. It's a long run up. And he's missed it. He has missed it. Still 1-0. Come on, Ibra. Let's make it 2-0. Let's get that advantage over Bayern. We'll turn that off. We're going to go right down the middle. And it is 2-0. Neuer sent the wrong way. What an advantage we have over the German champions. What can Xavi Alonso come up with here? It's another long runner. And it's It's saved. It's saved. I thought De Gea had let that cross the line, but no, it is still 2-0. We can make it 3. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to go for a cheeky chip here right down the middle. <laughs> oh, look at that. Neuer absolutely embarrassed by Mkhitaryan, the former Dortmund man. That's not going to go down well. Douglas Costa looking to get his team back in the shootout. And, oh, he does. Only just De Gea did go the right way, but just missed by getting a fingertip to the ball. If we score this, and it's Memphis who's performed really well in preseason. If we score this, we've won the Asian Elite Cup. Go to the left. Oh, that's it. Oh, Neuer saved. Screw you, Neuer. Screw you. Still 3-1. And now Bayern have another lifeline to get right back in this, to make it 3-2. Thiago. He didn't really do much in the game. Has made it 3-2 and what a penalty that was. You see how the ball just with such force behind it just flew into the bottom corner. Nicely taken. Jesse Lingard, here we go. A Manchester lad through and through to win us the Asian Elite Cup. One-on-one -on -one against Manuel Neuer. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Neuer rooted to the spot and it's ended 4-2 on penalties. And there we have it. We will be presented with the Asian Elite Cup. A brilliant pre-season tournament overall. Well, what a way to kick-start this new career mode on FIFA 17 with Manchester United, but with a piece of silverware, the Asian Elite Cup. It will be Captain Wayne Rooney to go ahead and lift it. And there we go. The, the new celebrations, you've got the fireworks. The pyrotechnics and everything kicking off. It's brilliant. This is what we've got to look forward to if we are to win the Premier League, the Champions League, the FA Cup and whatnot. I like it. I like the presentation. As I said earlier on in the episode, I hope for the uh, when the game is out, there is a day one patch and I hope they put the Premier League graphics in there because it just it wouldn't look the same. But there we go. A good way to start this career mode. Hope you guys have enjoyed that performance against Bayern Munich. I'm not sure if I'm going to end the episode there just yet. So I want to go and see how much we've uh, we've been given for winning this. 4.25 million has been added to our transfer budget overall for the Asian Elite Cup. We've received somewhere between 8-9 mil 
Ooh, I mean, we were predicted to have about 10 mil, so that's all been added to the uh, the transfer budget. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to be spending all of that, but it's nice to you know, know that you've got that as a bit of security, a bit of backup if need be. Now look at that, we 44% gained on the target for brand exposure, the 170 million earnings from shirt sales. I bet that's the majority of that was from the Asian Elite Cup just for winning it. Not bad. And everything else is exactly the same. So that's going to be it for this episode. That's going to be it for pre-season. And that's going to be it now until FIFA 17 is out in the next couple of days. When it is, we will be starting the new season. First, we've got that trip to Wembley to look forward to against the Premier League champions Leicester City in the Community Shield final. And then we'll be playing away to Bournemouth. Can't wait for that. Hope you guys can't either. Stay tuned. It's only in a couple of days' time. It'll be here before you know it. Thanks for watching, guys.